Uh, so we get a new coach, Chris Hilton. Yes, Nana Babin Drew. Chris Hilton is here. Now he is the Black Stars coach. Sam George is now being held as Fabrizio Romano. Here we go. Yes. He say we carry the job give him GGFA Tuesday in the lie. Now official announcement is Chris Hilton. Uh um, first, uh -huh. Black Stars the uh, <laughs> I I I think it's it's an appointment that the FA had basically no option than to make because of the pressures that are coming from one, the government, and to the public. So it's more like they bow to the pressures of both the public and the FA and government because we all know that Chris Hilton was the first choice of yeah. the government to replace uh, Milovan Rivers, but the FA opted for Chris uh, Otoado. And once Otoado took us, qualified us to the World Cup. Uh, President Akufo had vowed for him to continue. Then after the World Cup, there was a vacuum that needed to be filled. Uh, a lot of us are surprised that it took that long. I mean, 72 days for a decision to be made. But now you have been drinking, you know. You ever heard of it? I'm sorry. I assume my body goes and goes. Ta ta ta! In that kind of years. Ta ta ta! In that kind of years. Yeah, go go go. Uh, I'm just praying. So, uh, Chris Hilton is here. Let us hear from you in the comment section. Now, uh, Perez, quick one. His first test will be in March uh, for the Afcon uh, qualifiers. Yeah. What should Ghanaians expect from uh, Chris Hilton? I think the thing is that we are still here to... DFA still have some information to give yeah. with regards to the duration of the contract, how much he'll be taking, and all those issues that I'm sure in due time when he's unveiled as the blast that's coach. He will be those informations yeah. will be divulged. I won't have the platform, the opportunity to ask him the kind of football that he's going to sell. We've all watched him in the Premier League. I grow, I grow and football. we all know that he is more like a typ your typical English or British yeah. coach. He directs straight from the fullback to the wings, the cross. There is that um, bulky or that striker in the box, the fox in the box kind of there. And the Carol, your typical British striker in the box who latches on to this court. So He's your typical British coach, but I look at the kind of players we have and ask myself, are players still late for that kind of football? And that's why some of us had our doubts with regards to the appointment of Chris Whitten. But Ghanaians are happy because they feel that he's... He's a top coach. He's a top coach, and he's that one person that they feel the FA will not be able, not to, be able to influence or manipulate when it comes to selection. That is one of the things that you have to say. I think how he navigates the influence of the FA and the perception of the public will be a big, big determine, will determine how his, his career as Blasters coach will go. But with regards to his first match as Blasters coach, and that's why some of us have issues yeah. with why he delayed, because he needed time to be able to imprint, to be able to implement yeah. whatever information. But now, he has barely less than a month to be able to do all those things. So we are not expecting much changes. All we need from him in that particular game, call the players that we think deserve to be in the team. And then make sure they play well. Manko Fred, John plays Biana Charlie. If he does that, any yeah, about that. Yeah, but 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 I think that uh, for me, it as much as I seem to be a team go to go type. Sometimes I feel like the the kind of technical players we have in the Black Stars, probably when he was at Newcastle, uh, Brighton. You know, when you are at this club, you don't have the budget. That, that argument holds because and it's valid because. In most of those clubs, you are yeah. basically playing to survive. To survive. And you can't play beautiful football if you are on a street budget or if yeah. you, the quality of your players. Who to me for to say Ben Me, Money, Shock Cross, Money, and those guys tell them who to are when you're being nation. You know, when you're born or bim bim, then yeah. you do like Sean yeah. Dyke did against us. So I agree. But for us, the Blasters, we have good technically gifted yeah. players, Kudus. Kamadin, Pate, uh, Tarek Lamte, even our self. Even, even Baba Ramasef. Even Baba Ramasef. <laughs> it's a technical, a technical game player. player. Yeah. So, Charlie, I think the players we have will force him to play. And he's a coach who has shown that when they need be, he can adapt to suit to the situation. I think that's what he will bring to the. He brings experience because he has that here over more than 30 years in coaching. He brings familiarity because he's been with the team for long. He brings some form of stability 
I feel that he's someone who has tasted a lot of club football. And this presents an opportunity for him to sit down and say, let me sit here, organize Ghana football from the top, then make sure everything goes well. If he does that, it enhances his legacy and reputation because he'll go to, he's going to be that guy who everyone will say, oh, and I'm sure he'll want to be recognized as such. So it's a good move for the FA. I have my doubt, primarily because of the football. I believe that beautiful football is the way to. I believe that the entertainment element of football well, it's, should it's, not be felt at only the, the winning stage. It should be felt at how we win the games. And so, so we got, I mean, it's, it's a good call. Let's see how it goes. All right, so let's see how it goes. Uh, let me remind you that uh, next month, we is March, the Black Stars will be in action for the 2023 AFCON qualifiers. Don't forget that we've already played two games. Uh, we played one here in Cape Coast and then against um, Central Africa uh, Republic. So our two games, which is a double header against Angola. For me, I think that uh, how I would judge Chris Hilton will be his first caller. Because see, see, I gonna say that there are times that certain players, like you see certain players in the list yeah. of of the caller, and he didn't invite those players. So the there are reports that uh, one of the second points that actually caused the delay was that Chris was trying to input some clauses. Those are yeah. reports in there that he will have the 100% right, 100% responsibility of deciding who makes the team. Who which, doesn't, which who, well, with the GFA president, has already stated that. You see, the thing is that, that, the thing under that him. I, 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 you see, the thing with what Kurt said is that. I don't think it's it's wrong. It's how they do it. If you're a coach of a national team, you don't want to have issues with your with the FA boss yeah. over selections. Yeah. And the FA boss, because the back stops with him basically. You can walk up now and you know, to add your drunk who will you bash? He be kept. So ultimately, he would want to have some say, okay, why didn't you offer any part? Why didn't you offer any part? So you defend. Uh -huh. but, for this particular GFA administration, there is the perception, and it has been given some credibility by Sika Akono that they indeed influence yeah. selections. It's one of the things that uh, Chris Hilton will have to navigate, and it's going to be, for me, his biggest challenge. His first call up will decide whether Ghanaians will support him, will support him or, or not. Because you've got Fred, you know, some players here. you got Fred. And you see, now the, the, the thing that I think that. It doesn't help the FA is that because of investment. So when you watch every league in the world, even in Saskatchewan, like people they watch. So it's like we know every Ghanaian player who is performing. And then press my last question is in all of this, where is the technical director? Be, be, because it's like he should he should be at the center of everything. But we went to the World Cup, nobody heard about Ben Alepe. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we were looking for a new coach. You don't hear the technical director spearing this. You know this? Where is he? Is yeah, that that that. <laughs> that that oh, that's what that <laughs> But the, it's the thing with the how we manage football in the country is that it's, it's, you have to be very careful when you are discussing it because we don't know. Unlike yeah. previous instances where the FA will put out names of uh, a party that which are going to search for yeah. their team. In this instance, we were not informed on whether there was a committee being led by Bernard Lippert. So we actually don't know the role he played. Yeah. But Obaya oh, no Charlie, the guy not do anything. It's like, really, yeah. But if I mean, I mean, what what would be his role basically if you want to appoint? Uh, yeah, but, yeah, Hilton, but the thing Hilton has been with the team for long. Yeah. He knows the team already. I think the reason why I delayed was that there were a lot of a lot of T's that had to be crossed, a lot of I's that had to be dotted. And that's what caused it because from what we are here, as far back as December, there was some form of resolution among the executive council members that he was going to be the one. But there were a number of issues and these things are normal because Ghana with politics in the you know, so they had to sort out all these issues. But CC or Bibi, Bernard Lippert, yeah, 
I mean, as a Ghanaian, you would want to hope yeah. that he does. So I think we are at a stage where we need a coach who will be bold enough to call the right players and throw the right players, and when the need be, can pull off some good tactics. Because I say this, like, this team can win the AFCON. You know, but the biggest challenge for him, I think, it was one deal with the Dayu situation and Thomas Party. Yeah. We, no, I, I, see, I, as for me, there, I, I, I've, I've already said my thing about Party. We, we said that no, number six, nah, he, he wasn't favoring and all that. But now we brought someone who, who is playing the DM. If you, if you call him his baby, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's how we end our podcast on the appointment of Chris Hilton as the Black Stars coach. Me, I have only one fear. In 2019, AFCON, we were eliminated uh, run, run, of run of 16. In 2022, yeah. uh, 2021, AFCON, we, we couldn't qualify out of the group. <laughs> so all things being equal, I'm praying we are able to qualify to Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, the yeah, 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 yeah. It will be. Chris Hilton, will it work or not? Let me hear from you in the comment section.